Hey kids, it's Pastor Steve again. We're talking about Jesus and a parable, a story told about forgiveness. Wait, hold on a second. I'm so glad that you showed up finally. Where's my thousand dollars that you've been owing me? You're supposed to pay like a couple months ago? I don't have it. What do you mean you don't have it? You don't, I gave it to you. You were supposed to pay it back. Where is it? Pay me back. I Go. don't. Where's my money? I don't have it. Well, this is what's going to happen. You better going to come up with it somehow. We're going to sell your clothes, sell your video games, sell your skateboard, sell your glasses, maybe sell your hair, everything. We're going to, everything's got to go because I need I'm my sorry. money back. And then you're going to mow the lawn, you're going to blow the leaves, you're going to cut the grass, you're going to do... You're I'm gonna sorry. Is there, is there something I can do? Is there... Anything that I could do to try to make it up to you. Earlier, you should have had this conversation earlier. You know what? I'll just cancel your debts. I, I'll forgive you of this, this thousand dollars. I see you, you can't pay for it, obviously, and I'll just forgive you. Rain. Yes? You owe me a buck, right? Yeah. Remember from the Slurpee last week? Yes. I need it back. I'm going to the movies this weekend. Oh, sorry. I must have forgot my money at home. You don't have it? Um. What's wrong? How do you not have it? I need it. Uh. Like now. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. You don't have it? You don't have anything? No. I'm gonna have to like call the police on you or something. Yeah, come with me. We'll settle this. Hey, come. I just forgave you a thousand dollars and now you're, now you're chasing a dollar and being so mean and unforgiving? Forget, you're coming, come with me. All right, that was the parable. It was my version of the parable. Jesus told a very similar story about someone who was unforgiving, who was forgiven so much. And then when it was his chance to forgive someone, he didn't. He was not merciful. He was not loving or kind. Jesus told that story to remind us that God has forgiven us a whole bunch, all our sins, everything we've done is wrong, that we've said is wrong, the, the good things that we never did. We ask forgiveness from God, and he forgives us. And we have opportunities every day to forgive other people. Maybe your brother or your sister did something wrong. Maybe they yelled at you or they weren't truthful. And I know it's not easy, but we can forgive them. When they say, I'm sorry, we could let that go and not hold on to it. Because God let go so many things from us. He wiped our hearts clean so we could forgive other people when they do wrong against us. We could forgive people when they say things that aren't loving and kind, when they get really angry. Even when our little brothers pinch us, we could forgive them. Forgiveness is not easy, but God has forgiven us. He died on the cross to forgive all our sins so that we could be friends with him. And because he has done that for us, we could forgive other people. And I pray for you. God, we thank you, Lord, that you love us so much. That when we make mistakes, when we make bad decisions, when we do things that we shouldn't do, even some things that we're too ashamed of saying aloud, but when we ask you, Lord, when we tell you we're sorry, you forgive us. Help us, God, to forgive other people. Thank you, God, for these kids, for their families, for this church family that we're all part of. Help us to show your love to one another. Amen. All right, let us worship God together. <laughs>